How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I've got a quick comparison between Hostinger and SiteGround, two of the best web hosting services out there. So let's get straight into it. Before we begin, if you guys are interested in the links to pricing and discounts or reviews and you want to jump straight there, be sure to check the links in the description down below. You'll find discounts and reviews on both hosting providers. So now, starting with the plans and pricing of both. So let's just go ahead and check out the shared web hosting plans from both here. And as you can tell, there's an immediate kind of obvious difference between the uh, pricing. You see uh, hosting or starting with $199, $299, and $499 for the shared web hosting plans. And you've got a site ground with an obvious bump up in the price, uh, starting with $399, $669, and 1069. So uh, SiteGround's pricing was never its strong suit in the first place. And this becomes more obvious when you compare it to Hostinger. Obviously, Hostinger's most popular shared hosting plan is its mid-range one, the premium one. Uh, and SiteGround's equivalent is the Grow Big plan, which is at 669. And you can notice the uh, difference in prices here. Both offer unlimited websites and unmetered bandwidth, but the Hostinger plan offers five times more SSD storage and is roughly three times cheaper than SiteGrounds for long-term contracts. Um, so you get 100 gigabytes of SSD storage here and 25,000 monthly visits. Uh, but with the Grow Big plan, you get 20 gigabytes of web space, but 100,000 visits monthly. So, you know, it really depends on what you're looking for at the end of the day here. If you think you're going to get a lot of traffic, then it might be worth investing more in SiteGround. But if you think you're just starting out and you're not expecting more than 25,000 uh, monthly visits, you can always upgrade to the next plan and, you know, expect 100,000 uh, visits and it will still be cheaper than the Grow Big plan with SiteGround. But it's all up to you at the end of the day depending on what you're looking for and what you expect from your visitors. On renewal, you'll have to pay the full rate with both hosts though. With Hostinger, this means just a few dollars more per month, while SiteGround almost triples the initial cost. So you gotta watch out for that. As you can tell here, the next time, let's say you get a one-year plan, your renewal rate will be at $25.99, whereas with Hostinger, your renewal rate will be at $12.99. If you're going with the most popular plans. Now, this is just for the shared web hosting plans. For the most part, Hostinger is pretty popular because it offers so much value and resources without really making people pay an arm and a leg for it. And also you do get uh, live chat support with Hostinger, which is always nice. And you do get it with uh, SiteGround as well. But in terms of the live chat support, I have noticed just the support in general with Hostinger, it's a little bit more responsive. Now, with regards to features, Hostinger offers slightly more for less money. Um, both Hostinger and SiteGround have proprietary control panels that include everything you need to manage your website and then some. SiteGround site tools and Hostinger's H panel are both easier to use than C panel. Both web hosts have free transfers, but the fine print shows quite a difference in how they're done. Hostinger's Sex Squad will migrate your websites for you free of charge, but with with SiteGround, you have to pay for managed migrations. Sure, you can use its WordPress plugin, but if you don't have a WordPress website and you need help, you'll have to pay a hefty fee for each migration. Hostinger has an advantage over SiteGround in the form of a free domain name for one year available on all plans except the single plan right here. So as you can tell, you get the free domains, but just make sure that you are going for the premium plan instead of the single shared hosting plan so that you can get that free domain. It's definitely worth the investment. And SiteGround does not include any free domains, unfortunately unless you already have a domain and you don't really care about that. Now, OnePlus for SiteGround is that its shared hosting plans include managed WordPress services. This means you get automatic core and plugin updates for your sites, specialized WordPress support, and some advanced WordPress tools. To get the same with Hostinger, you have to opt for their managed WordPress plans, which you will find right here. 
And of course, you're going to have to pay a little bit more, not much more. You're still on the cheaper end. Uh, but if you're looking for managed WordPress, this is where you're going to be able to get it. Uh, whereas right here, you still get managed WordPress, but you don't get the WordPress staging tool unless you opt for the best available plan for hosting or so. Um, it's really depending on what kind of website you're coming up with but you get plenty more disk space on Hostinger um, when compared to SiteGround. So 40 gigs with the GoGeek plan, whereas you can get, well, 50 gigs with the cheapest plan with Hostinger. In terms of backups, you get daily backups on all the plans with SiteGround, but you only get daily backups with the uh, premium or the business plan rather with Hostinger. You get unlimited email accounts on the higher tier plans with Hostinger, whereas you get unlimited accounts with all the plans with SiteGround. Um, you do get free CDN on SiteGround, but with uh, Hostinger, you get CDN only on the business plan and they both have 30 day money back guarantee. So you are able to test drive these services for 30 days risk free. No worries at all. In terms of performance, we're going to take a look at Pingdom right here. And as you can tell, we have a few hundred percents here out of 10 months. We got four months clocking at 100 percent uptime. Whereas with SiteGround, you see a whole lot more 100% uptime. Now, the response time is definitely quite a bit better, um, noticeably better, in fact, with Hostinger. But if you're looking for uptime, especially if you have an online store, notice that out of 10 months, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of 10 months are at 100% uptime, which is super impressive. And the times when the uptime was not 100%, it was 99.9%. 99 and 98. Whereas with Hostinger, if you notice, we have an 87 and 90 and 96, 99, 99 and 70. So um, the response time is definitely better with Hostinger, but the uptime is significantly boosted with uh, SiteGround. And that's very important, especially if you have an online store again, and you want your website to be running for as long as possible throughout the year without any downtime. In terms of security, whether you choose Hostinger or SiteGround, you can rest assured that your website will be safe. Both services offer free SSL certificates, DDoS protection, a spam filter, and a strong web application firewall. Shared hosting means your website will share a server with many servers, but both web hosts protect your account using Linux containers. These keep your resources isolated, which means that even a DDoS attack on one of your neighbors shouldn't affect you. In addition, both SiteGround and Hostinger have security teams monitoring network health 24-7 while SiteGround has its proprietary real-time scanning software. Hostinger uses Vanguard, which is a dedicated industry-leading solution. So if you're like me and constantly worry about things that might happen, you can turn on the CDN on either service and make your website an even more difficult target for botnet attacks. And in terms of support, SiteGround and Hostinger offer 24-7 live chat support. And SiteGround also features a phone channel and ticketing system. Now, for me, I specifically like to solve things through live chat support, but you do have the phone support available with SiteGround if that's something that you do prefer. The problem with both Hostinger and SiteGround is that you'll likely have to wait a while before you get in touch with a live chat agent, though you don't have to wait much, but just keep in mind that sometimes you might have to wait a little bit to get in touch with an agent. And when you do get in touch with the agent, it certainly is helpful and they will go the extra mile to make sure that you are satisfied with the service. So if you guys are interested in SiteGround or Hostinger, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below. If you'd like to take advantage of the Site Starters coupon code, be sure to check those in the description down below. It will be applied automatically. And if you'd like to learn more about these web hosting providers, be it SiteGround or Hostinger, you'll find full reviews in the description down below. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything web hosting. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.